Hello everyone, I am Drago from the Cult of Ergus V. Today, I'm going to be, maybe starting, a Darkest Dungeon playthrough. You know, see how this goes. May I may not do this. Uh, I have everything set up here. Um, there's only like two actual game-changing mods, and I think those are two class mods with the mods installed there. The rest of them are cosmetic. Uh, just for the fun of it. Uh, we're playing on Darkest Difficulty. Uh, this is not my first time playing. Uh... So, let us start the game. As I said before, this is a not a blind. This is not a blind playthrough. Um, however, I'm imposing myself a few challenges that I have failed before. Now, be quite well. He watches. You will console. arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside. Leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steel yourself, and remember there can be no bravery. Without madness, the old road will take you to hell. But in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. All right, now we are in the game. We just have to wait for it to load. Um, this is on the old road on our way to the uh, hamlet. We start off with two characters, uh, Renault, the uh, Crusader, and Dismas, the Highwayman. Um, probably my two, one of my two favorite classes in the game. Um, this is a very, two di very different polar opposite of classes. What well, sort of polar opposites? Renault is a Crusader, and Crusaders are more DPS focused. Um, and pure DPS focused. Um, however, uses more armor to protect himself. Meanwhile, Dismas is also with DPS with a bit more, a bit more utility, being able to hit more of the back row um, and more enemies at once, and applying bleed effects. Regular utility. I am. Let's see, you have the cosmetic mod right here, the Crusader. I forget the actual mod name of it, but it's a very nice mod name. Have run up these lanes. And keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. A bloodborne skin. So we are all fully kitted. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion that all may hear of your arrival. Right. Did bleed. The narration in this game is superb. I don't know who did the voice acting, but it is very great. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Ooh, all right. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner I'm just gonna has put him back. It's no he's more effective welcome. in the back room. Key points and DPS into the blood letter. Because he does do. I uh, just apply bleed, and we don't really want to have that on us at all times because the, uh, the Fusilier also creates a steady stream of damage, which we do not want. So we need to eliminate the Fusilier first. Um, with Dismas, and then continue on with the British blood letter. Shit. All 
Alright, good, because that has a chance of moving, and I don't want him to move back into the second position. He's less effective there. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. There we go. The greater the glory. As victories mount, so too. I see what's in this chest. I'm pretty sure this is trapped. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's trapped every time. There we go. First quest completed. Weapon Tinker. Weapon upgrade cost. That's pretty rad. And now we're at the Hamlet, the main base opera, base of operations in this game. It's going to take us a very long time to get this place in an actual functioning Welcome order. Home, such as it is. This squalid Hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now. It's the graveyard yet, and the stagecoach. Plague Doctor will end up here and the vessel. covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Yeah, stage network, um Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools. The nomad wagon. Uh I don't really use the nomad wagon all that often. Now that the road is clear. Ancestors' memories. Trinkets and charms gathered from all the forgotten uh, corners of the have. earth. The actual dark dungeon people. Okay. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Good more quest, good more quest. All right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I actually have a mod. Yeah, that's the one. I prefer the whole hooded figure there. What's the difference between them? Bandages, that's what it was. Secret Plague Doctor. Early Riser took it out. Uh, let's see here. I'm not sure if that's all we have for the trinket inventory. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. It's the usual suspects. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. Um, that's about right. Alright, the ruins. I'm definitely going to be used to the later game. It's going to be a bit interesting to adjust back. Always great. Wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I don't think we should do a uh, straight uh, darkness run. He does additional damage to Unholy with Smite. Other than that, I don't think Zeal Zealous Accusation does not do that either. Holy Lance does, but... Alright, 
Alright, we did get a scout off. Alright. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Alright, we've got our first cultist. I forgot these have insane bleed resist. Although they can be bled. They can definitely be bled. Just insanely difficult. The first of many stress attacks, I see. Continually onslaught. And their Destroy corpse is propped. Alright. Well, that's what Dismas is there for. My goal is to keep uh, Dismas and Reynolds to the very final Darkest Dungeon playthrough. Fall. Playthrough. Darkest Dungeon crawl. We do get an achievement, the first test. and it's now nice it to keep two. Home. Two heavy hitters. Dismas died a long time ago in my previous uh, playthroughs. Alright, good, we got the, uh, got the move resist. Movement abilities from the, uh, from the Cultist Accolade are always something I have to look out for. Plus that stress with your hands. Zealous accusation. Just yelling at them that they're a heretic. And it deals damage. The light, the promise of safety. The blood pumps, the limbs obey. There we go. I like how the corpse still has blight on it. It does help, but it doesn't make much sense. Bleed makes more sense for corpses. A brilliant confluence of skill and skills. As well as clear these out. Dismas is gonna take care of. Um, no, wait, don't like battle. The way is lit, the path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. I do not own any DLC, nor do I own, oh, alright, there's the Kleptomaniac coming out, stealing everything, so we definitely want to get rid of that. I do not own any DLC, um, I don't have any districts, I don't have Crimson Court, I don't have Shieldbreaker, uh, do not have Color of Madness, however, uh, they are a uh, great DLC in their own right. And that is why I play with mods. Without tools of iron, you must rely on flesh and indefatigable purpose. <sighs> All right, final, final room. 
never understood why Tempting Goblet always reached so far. Play grenade in there. Now I shall heal someone. Sounds accusation. That is a stun move, so I have to watch out for that. Their formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Nice crit. I'm just gonna take him down. Thankfully, he didn't leave the corpse. And thankfully, he didn't leave the corpse. So we can hit him a lot easier. Decimated. Twenty-three. Crushed by justice. Light stone. At least promises success. Mm. All right then. That is the end of the, our first delve into the ruins. Four thousand five hundred gold and a lot of busts, portraits, and crests. Fragile, only fighting is death wave and negative. 10 bleed resist. In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. All right. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. This place. And the cobwebs have been dusted, the pews set straight. The Abbey calls to the faithful. With enough ale, maybe they can be inured against the horrors below. I doubt that. The Abyss Walker? Huh. I don't remember enabling this mod. But I guess I have. How interesting. I'll have to check the mods after this. Other highwaymen. Take a look we can get, I guess. Elusive. Evasive. Persistent. Righteous traits for a rogue. Stretch to leave. We don't have any sanitary. We don't have a sanitarium. Survival is the guild of the blacksmith yet. It is going to take a very long time. Let's do another short battle. Actually. Madman's mission. However, he can help. Usually to bring ten. We're to bring ten torches. I like to keep the light level uh, pretty high. However, there are times when I will must be driven go full. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Yeah. 
I will eventually do a uh, snuff torch run. Spike trap there. Alright, more cultists and undead. Pressure on the Dismas. See if we can take out the dead corner. Back, and we did. Did not bring any healing items, and nor a healer, which is problematic. Keep the pressure on. Good shit. Nice crit. He did not see that coming. This expedition at least promises success. You can. I used food to heal them. However, you will need their. Your characters will need to eat, so it's not preferred. Tempting goblet always oh, pissed me off. Their formation is broken. Made Already got one down. I'm sure corpses decay over time, but I'm not sure about that. We'll have to see. I also have a mod installed, which adds a bit of a, a bit of a mini boss, which will be very fun to see. And anyone who is familiar with the with the cult of Urgesvi, you will know that we are a fan of a fan of a few things. One being this mod. Well, or the piece of media the mod was derived from. So. Hopefully, we'll get that someday. Not, not soon. Hopefully not soon, because that thing is hard as shit. Um, and will probably wipe us in our current state. However, it only procs if we have, I think, below half of our current... How did you get a disease from that? Usually it's... a bad... Glittering gold, trinkets and baubles, paid for in blood. 
Yes, it seems to have also uh, gotten blood on the parchment, so that's going to be a bit difficult to read. Alright, we just need more room battles. If I just got upwards, it'd be over. Paranoid. Alright. The walls close in. The shadows whisper of conspiracy. Yeah, afflicted. Haven't gotten a virtue yet. Even the cold stone seems Which is always a triumphant passage. moment in any run. Especially going up against a boss. Alright, still have an inventory. Food, hopefully. It was food. Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or cowardice. Oh boy. Alright, I'm gonna pump most of the food into Reynolds. The blood letter does take up two spots, which is always the light, the promise of safety. Well, That's quick then. Yes. That's a mess. All right, nice. Fifty percent stun resist. There we go. Shit. And quick the other dude. You need to take care of these guys as fast as possible then. Oh shit, made of whips. Alright, one damage, however, it does bleed. One damage. Oh. Okay, good. Good shit, Reynold. Probably wouldn't been able to take that. Welp. Dodge that. And he missed. Oh shit, alright. Okay. Yes, we didn't bring a healer habit. There we go. Perhaps the turning point. Alright, Dismas. There you go. Shot found its mark. Bullet with his name on it. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Room by room. Alright, we did get a redemption armlet for the leper. We don't have a leper, however, lepers are a very good class. Rare flight, faded. Ooh, faded is great. Our family name, once so well regarded, is now barely whispered aloud by decent folk. All right. All right, the Legion. This is one of the things. I am a Dark Souls fan, as you can see. I do have the Abyss Walker mod installed, and. The Rift Watcher. He's the Abyss Walkers of, un of Farron's Undead Legion. The Grey Legion is on the way. Make no mistake, we will face ever greater threats. Our soldiers must be ready. Alright. Reynold. Dismas, I want you to get point blank shot and we can slice. Just advance. Take that and that. Divine comfort. 
medicine and emboldening vapors. Uh, sure, he's blinding gas. The bellows blast once again. The forge stands ready to make weapons of war. Well, it isn't as shitty as it was, but sanitarium is still out of commission, so it's a survivalist. Yeah. We'll only gamble, and there's also a known cheat. So, uh, Dismas is currently mostly out of action. Uh, God fearing, so we only pray, which he is in. You will definitely see a lot of those. He's only thin out of phobia and Fields gift. I'm gonna start his pride at Rift Fang. Uh, uh, Chameleon Stance and Survive and Survive Vial. Dazzling light because of the stun, divine grace, and divine comfort. Um, let's change this to Watcher's Blast. Alright, so. Not gonna be much in the way of damage dealing, however, it is going to be more support based. Alright. Wicked Slice, Pistol Shot, Point Blank, Gun- oh. Pistol, Point Blank, Grape Shot, Duelist Advance. Uh, this is fine. And he's fun, I guess. Uh, New Cork Enlightened will only meditate. Alright. Red Tearstone Ring. Okay, I guess we'll go with the, uh, Medium Apprentice Exploration Mission. Explore your ancestral home as far as you are able. Alright. Uh, that is what we will do in the next episode. Uh, glad that you could join me. Uh, and I thank thee for watching. Until next time, this is Drago from the Cult of Ergus V. Signing off from the first episode of the Darkest Dungeon playthrough. If you want to see more of this, you know. If you don't want to see any more of this, you know, comment, I guess. Uh, hope you stick around. See ya.